Sources tell CNN that a second Trump attorney has appeared before a federal grand jury in the ongoing special counsel investigation into the former president's handling of classified documents. Trump attorney Christina Bob appeared before the grand jury in Washington recently, according to uh, sources familiar with that who have talked to CNN about this. Uh, she and another Trump attorney have faced scrutiny since last year when the FBI discovered classified documents at Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate during a court-authorized search. Uh, let's talk about this and, and other things that are happening right now in the uh, political world uh, with CNN political commentator S.E. Cup and Vanity Fair special correspondent Molly Jong Fast. Uh, Molly, uh, how much of a problem are these mounting legal issues for the Trump campaign. I mean, I suppose one could argue uh, that Trump will see this as, well, he's once again playing the victim in all this. He can be the victim and he's a political martyr. I suppose they, they might think of that one to throw out there to the public uh, if this continues to go forward. Well, there are all these different cases, right? And there's the DOJ case, there's the documents, there's the Georgia case. Uh, Look, I think he thinks he can run out the clock, and maybe he can. He is spending a lot of money on lawyers, and, you know, I don't know, different Republican entities are also paying for lawyers. So, I mean, look, I think a lot of us, you know, a lot of the little people, the rioters, all were punished for their, you know, part in the January 6th insurrection, but no one sort of more senior has been, uh, you know, found legally culpable. I think there really is, um, you know, there's definitely exposure there. The question is, can he run out the clock? And, and I don't know the answer to that. Essie, are we just facing the prospect of a possible presidential campaign where Trump is either facing indictment or under indictment? I mean, is that just something we may just all live with together as as as, as the American people? <laughs> going through this next process. Yeah, and, uh, as yeah, and as unprecedented and odd as that would be, I actually think part of the reason he's running for president is as a shield from some of this stuff, right? If he's in the middle of a political campaign, he knows that makes the DOJ shy away a little bit from getting too aggressive while someone's running for president. He knows that a bunch of different entities might treat this a little differently if he is a presidential candidate. So, I mean, there's so much cynicism going on in this, and we as an American people and voters just have to roll with it. And I, I frankly think it's gross and really unfair to ask us to, to, to sit through this and, and, and say, well, forget about the issues that really matter to your life. Let's now deal with the fact that you have a presidential candidate who's under multiple investigations and is going to use that as a distraction uh, from all the other stuff. And Molly, uh, this week, uh, former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley is expected to jump into the race. Mike Pence has some events coming up. Obviously, Trump um, has already announced. Um, how do you think Nikki Haley uh, figures into all this? Uh, you know, uh, she, if you look at the latest polls, she's not really polling very high. What do you think? I mean, a lot of people have said she's running for vice president. I kind of think that's a bit sexist. I think that, look, I mean, the... Republican Party has become very MAGA, so it's hard for me to imagine a non-MAGA candidate winning it. And it seems like there's a DeSantis-Trump face-off. But who knows? Maybe the two of them neutralize each other and there's room for a less extreme candidate. I mean, I think the thing about Nikki Haley is she's never stood up to Trump, so it's hard to imagine anti-Trump people or even just non-MAGAs feeling that she is somehow representative of them, if anything with all these Republicans who have sort of gone along with Trump, they're, they're kind of Trump enablers. So I don't know how they, they paint themselves as different from Trump. And Essie, I mean, the other candidate that we're all sort of waiting to see what he does is Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, who has been really revving up the base with some of these proposals and new laws that they've, you know, controversial laws that have been passed down in, in Florida. If he gets into this race, does it become, as Molly was saying, sort of a Trump versus DeSantis contest. And do, do you think he can take the pounding um, that these other candidates took back in 2016? Remember how just Trump one by one just sort of yeah. knocked them out of the field? Yeah, no Republican has beat Trump. And, uh, you know, that should be a warning to a bunch of them, Nikki Haley, Ron DeSantis included. We hope that maybe some of them have learned some lessons on how to take him on. And Trump is certainly in a weaker 
position. And the base is smaller, but it's also more condensed and rabid and loyal. So it's really hard to penetrate a base that is fully behind Donald Trump if your name isn't Donald Trump. So, I mean, I wouldn't underestimate Nikki Haley. She's really smart. She's really well liked in South Carolina. Um, she'll have initial problems with like Tim Scott if he also runs, eating into her donor base and her voter base and the surrogates and the endorsements. Um, but an interesting poll shows that if Nikki Haley gets in, she actually eats into DeSantis's voters and mm. therefore elevates Trump, which, I mean, that's a whole other kind of like mind trick that you have to think about when you're a Republican voter. Well, do I vote for, for Nikki knowing she might actually help Trump win when really I prefer someone like Nikki who's very different from Trump? I mean, there's a lot going on here. It's going to be a really interesting race to watch. Absolutely. OK, uh, we've got a lot of breaking news to follow this evening, so uh, we'll have to leave it there. But uh, Essie, Molly, thanks so much for your time. We appreciate it. Sure.